cold start time. guys welcome on back to TK's garage and I have a short update video for you guys today um, concerning the fire damaged Bugatti Chiron now a lot of you guys have been asking me hey TK you know what's the situation with this thing is the title status actually going to change on Copart site and I got to give a major shout out to, to Houston over at Royalty Car Exotics out there in Las Vegas um, he actually came into the comments and was like, you know, here's what I like about other creators. I do the same thing. If someone says something, I come over to their comment section and be like, yeah, da, 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 whatever, right? Um, and Houston was cool. He came in and was like, I'm definitely not buying this car. Now, Houston definitely has the uh, experience, I would say, dealing with Bugattis. Because last time I checked, I have not seen any other YouTube channels on YouTube, like, I haven't seen another YouTube channel rebuild a Bugatti or, or fix one that was royally fucked up. Now, we, I, I have seen it over on his channel. I remember, I think it was a Veyron that he rebuilt, um, at, that he rebuilt out in Vegas. I remember they had it, I guess, b behind wherever they store their cars or whatever. I remember watching videos about that. It was like, that's over a year ago now, right? Two years ago. Um... So I'm sure he has the experience about how much of a pain in the ass and the hoops you had to jump through to do all that crap to get the parts, right? So the parts thing's a whole nother animal that we're really not getting into here. We're literally just dealing with the title status. And the information that I was getting was coming in from, um, you know, people that actually work in the company at Copart. And they initially hit me up and was like, yo... Somebody from Bugatti is here to look at the friggin' car, um, and then after they looked at it, and they looked at it because of the video that was posted, and I don't know if Bugatti was sending somebody to look at the car, because they're going to buy it back and try to repair it, or maybe put it in a museum, or who, who knows, right? Um, and then they said, hey, they're talking about not having a certificate of destruction on the car. And if it doesn't have a certificate of destruction, even if it was export only, you could export the car, rebuild the title, rebuild the car, rebuild the title, and import the car back in. Not saying that, that that's what was going to happen or what would happen. I'm just saying that that happens. And people also, I'm not condoning it or saying it's cool, people wash titles in the U.S. all the time. Um, that said, even, even insurance companies. <laughs> so... That said, um, Houston did comment. I'll put a screenshot in here for you guys so you guys can see that. So, as you can see, Houston was kind of clear in it. He said, hey, you know, I reached out to somebody um, with the state of Florida, and they were able to tell me that a certificate of destruction, you know, basically title was issued, and that pretty much is it once that happens it's different if they say like you guys have seen with my challenger right with the green monster sitting at copart you know usaa has said junk title certificate of destruction parts only right but until it's actually registered with the state they can go and switch it i've had other people uh that have commented in the comment section below uh in other videos and you guys have seen it where they say, hey, I hate when they do that because I've personally seen it. I've literally seen, um, you know, a car that might have been listed as export only or bad title, you know, junk title or parts only. And like a day or two before the auction, boom, the title status will change from, you know, and they call it different things in different states. 
junk, certificate of destruction, parts only. I've seen it change from that to it's now a, rebuild, a, a rebuildable title or a car that can be rebuilt. So, I mean, it's not outside the realm of possibility. Is it going to happen with this? Well, Florida is a little bit different, all right? Um, once it's been branded like that, certificate of destruction, from everything that I've been able to see, and I've, you know, I've lived in Florida before. You guys know I was in Miami for a, uh, a long time. And um, once, a, once that COD or certificate of destruction uh, title is issued for the car, that's it. Like, doesn't matter if the insurance company wanted to change it. Doesn't matter if, you know, Copart wants to change it. If the title has been printed, Houston said it's been, you know, it's done. If it has been printed and issued, that's it. And what that means at that point is, is the car worth, maybe it is for somebody, but is it worth a one and a half million dollar price? Because that's what we're looking at. Between 1.5 to 1.7 is probably what this freaking car is going to sell for, right? Is it worth that to sit in your living room or on a wall or whatever the hell? Look, I get the whole, here's the other thing too. The people that are saying, oh, but if a YouTuber buys it <laughs> and they tear the motor out of the car and make a different project or something with it, they'll make their money back. <laughs> no. Look, even your larger channels that are here on the channel, yes, with sponsorship money and brand deals and everything else, yes, you can make a lot of money on YouTube. This is not a secret. I've talked about this with you guys multiple times. You guys saw I posted my revenue from last month uh, on Instagram. It was over 26000 for a channel of my size. So imagine a channel that has millions of subscribers. You could bet your ass that they're probably somewhere around, you know, two, three hundred, four hundred thousand 400000 a month in revenue. Depending on their watch, every, it, it's a bunch of different things. Could somebody make their money back if they bought the car just for clout? Over time, maybe. Is it worth it? Ugh, I, I just, I don't, I mean, it's cool. They only made 500, they're only making 500 of the Chiron, right? So is it cool? Yeah. Could you make your money back on the parts? Hell yes. But it's just the, who else is going to have, who, who else is going to have another Chiron that's going to have to be rebuilt? You know, like, who are you selling that powertrain to? Could you put it in something else? Yeah, I mean, I guess if you wanted to do something cr crazy ass build on um, YouTube, yeah, that's a possibility. But in all actuality, nah. So I wanted to take a minute to give you guys an update on it because I was literally waiting. That was the thing. I was I was waiting on a phone call back from uh, my person over at Copart to be like, hey, the C you know either the certificate of destruction title is in or you know, the, hey, the title's in and it's rebuildable, and I hadn't got a phone call back yet, but it looks like Houston reached out to uh, somebody at the DMV, and they confirmed that it does have a certificate of destruction, and once that title is issued, that's it. So, wanted to give you guys an update on it. Again, major thanks to Houston over at Royalty Car Exotics for uh, posting that in the comment section. I appreciate it. And, um, yeah, with that said, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll be watching the auction live. I think there's like 10 days or 11 days left until it comes up for auction. So we will be hosting that for you guys live. So you guys can see, we'll get to see exactly how much it went for. And, um, depending on what my schedule is, maybe I'll be there. We'll be there to see it get picked up and stuff. If I'm able to be in Palm Beach around that time. So. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, guys, with that said, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And um, crazy to see <laughs> the whole thing that went on with this Sharon, man. And it's going to be crazy to see how much it goes for and who's going to buy it. Now that we know that Houston is definitely out, he's not trying to buy it. Um, I know Tavares said, you know, Tavares is saying, hey, I, I, I'm interested in it. He's selling a bunch of stuff. Who, what, what channel, if you think it's a YouTuber is still kind of in the running to buy this car. Now, I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments section.
down below. Anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.